pounds. Nolf was uh, NCAA runner-up last year, finished second to Isaiah Martinez. Nolf's ranked runner number one now because Isaiah moved up in weight, so Nolf slides up in the rankings when Isaiah moved out of the out of the weight. Uh, and for Minnesota, Jake Short. Jake he's Short's ranked number nine. He is. He's having a good year. He's you know, Vegas, placed at the scuffle. Yep, he got fourth last week into the scuffle. One, one Vegas, Cliff Keen, Las Vegas, who's a qualifier uh, a year ago at 149, so he moved up in weight. Uh, similar with Rutherford, Nolf is in on a leg right away and gets a first takedown on short. Nolf has, uh, he's 9-0 in the year. He's got three techs and six pins, so every match, he hasn't had a match go the distance yet this year. We're getting a fresh start there. Let's see if he can, um, you know, get out here before uh, that minute mark hits. 26 seconds of riding time now for Nolf, and Nolf's going to cut short loose. So short's got to do a little, little bit better job keeping those hands down, protect himself, biting on those those snaps of, yeah. of Nolf. But it's, you know. Nolf's long. He's long, long and he's strong. Level changes, yeah. Another takedown for Nolf. I think that uh, it looked like Short was maybe considering a Dylan Ness there. Mm -hmm. Like the last time Penn State was actually in here, they uh, the reason they lost that duel was Dylan Ness. He stuck uh, pinned Alton That's right. in that, uh, that Gator That's Bacon. Right. Minnesota went on to win that duel. As uh, Stoyley had a big win, and yep. then uh, Ness came around and pinned Alton for the win. Yeah. I believe uh, Sports Pavilion was rocking that. People were having a good time that day. Another takedown take for Nolf. So he's building that lead just similar to the way Zane did. Um, you know, scoring early, scoring often. Just uh, a, a constant attack. Uh, you know, using, using their hands very well to move a guy, move his hands, move his feet. Some good defense right there. Yeah, Jake's doing a little bit better yeah. job. Kind of. You know, sometimes you see these matches where a guy comes into something like this and he he maybe doesn't um, really trust himself a little bit. And then all of a sudden, he, you know, situations like that happen where maybe he fights off two in a row and he starts to realize, hey, I, you know, I can maybe wrestle yeah. with this guy a little bit better than I have, at least. One thing Knopf's good at also is he's transitions from a short offense right into a reattack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no break. And then just yeah. let's break and stand and look at each other for a little bit. If there's a if we break contact, it's right back on him. Jake's in on a in on a leg of Nolf. Let's see if we can finish here. Nolf's starting to work that corner. He's got to keep his left shoulder. Jake's got to keep his left shoulder inside the hip here. Thirty seconds remaining. If he can go head underneath, get his feet up right off now. the mat. Nolf doesn't. Twenty to go now. Twenty to like period. He feels to be in much danger, but. Jake can yeah. finish this. Yeah, still it's going to get called. So 15 to go. It's an 8-4 lead right now for Jason Null for Penn State. He's got 56 seconds of riding time. Closing in the end of the first. Another, another good uh, reaction by Short. Oh, a very, very good headlock by Jason Nolf. That was the uh, I'd rather throw you than know you. Did not see that coming. <laughs> and you didn't, and Jake Short did not either. Uh, there's two people, at least two people in this gym, and I guess there's a couple more as well that did not see that coming. That was a very, very nice headlock. Future coaches who are going to wrestle, uh, Noff put that on the scouting report. He's, yeah. uh, he's a headlocker. Too bad it's a home duel. Jake Short just racked up a lot of frequent flyer miles. You can save those next for the next road trip. Gosh, Number one ranked guy in the country throwing headlocks. It's always great to see that. <laughs> I'm a big believer in a headlock. Yeah. If you try like six home run moves a match, you're bound to land one. I'm up by eight points, and I'm going to hit him with a headlock at the end of the first. So Nolf now riding like a pretty deep power half, similar to what uh, Zane Rutherford did as well to Carson Brolsma's shoulder.
Starting to build it riding time. He's kind of got Jake in a tough spot right now. He's I'm not sure what this is. And there's a fall for uh, Nolf. So it's another fall back-to-back -back pins for the two number one ranked wrestlers from Penn State. The two guys that, you know, are both in the running for the Hodge. Yeah. Uh,